Hello. How freaking long has it been since we had a vlog? I'm just so excited. <laughs> okay, I want to show you something so satisfying right now. And we have a project to do. All right, look at the situation in here. This watermelon soap is empty. This watermelon candle is burned out. This watermelon candle is burned out. And, well, actually there's a decent amount left of the air freshener. But it's not so satisfying that my whole bathroom theme ran out. Okay, now, watch this. Everything's running out at the same time. And I don't know why I find that so satisfying. This candle just burned out. This was the saltwater taffy scent. And this candle in here just burned out. This was turquoise water. And the soap just ran out. I was actually using lemon, which if you know my whole philosophy of matching scents, that actually kind of goes against it, but that's all I had. And then this air freshener, which is also turquoise waters, is also almost out. So everything really timed out well. And it's time to replace some scentscapes in my house. I'm so excited. So let's go shopping at my in-home Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw my video on this. All right, so what do we want ins to install in the bathroom? I think this could be more of a fall scent, Black Cherry Merlot, so I'm gonna save that one. I love this one so much, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna hoard it, plus that's my current office scent. But I think I'm gonna do this for my bathroom right now, Cactus Blossom, it smells amazing. And then I think I'm gonna do this scent for my entryway like kitchen area scent. It's called Gingham, it smells so good. So I have all the components of that, except for, I'm missing the soap in both of these. This one doesn't come in a scent of a soap. And I don't know if Cactus Blossom came in a soap and I failed to collect it or not, but I'm just gonna use this vanilla scent because vanilla goes with everything. And then we need to put a candle out. I was talking to my friend Megan, who has um, the shop that sells my milk and honey shirts. And <laughs> she was like, telling me that she's aggressively burning summer candles so that she can burn fall candles and I'm in the exact same boat. Like I need to be really hardcore because I want to make room for fall. Nate, what scent do you want to have in the living room right now? Do you want blueberry pie, salted pretzel milkshake, ice cream shop, sugar donut, key lime pie, pineapple crumb? <laughs> I just want all those things. Can we just I know, but instead of eating any of these things, which one do you want to smell? He selected ice cream shop for the scent, so now I'm gonna go install these, which is like, I feel like I'm the little Bath and Body Works fairy going around my house. Ta-da! Now I have a little graveyard of empties, which I don't know, I haven't, I have a lot of empties to do a video on, but I don't know if I'll get to that anytime soon. I have so many videos! These actually have lotion left. It takes me a long time to go through these because Nate doesn't use it, so it's all me. It's all me all alone. And then this is reusable. I just got that cuter one. I love things that are houses and I love stars. So I just thought that was adorable. Look at it. Ah. And it lights up, so it's always nice to have a night light in the kitchen. And it was free, because if you have the Bath & Body Works app, you get free stuff every like few purchases. And this would have been like $16, but it was free. So that makes me happy. And having all of my scents all out makes me so happy. It's just like we got a brand new house, Lolita. It's all fresh and smells all new. Greetings from Thursday. I've just been kind of checking in randomly this week. Um, I'm about to go run errands. Sorry for the horrible camera situation. But I didn't think to bring my camera and I suddenly realized it would be very fun to have you along for errands. Um, especially because I, I mean, 
mean, I'm doing boring errands like post office and the bank and stuff, but then I'm going by the mall to return something. And I thought we could pop in this store called Typo that I'm obsessed with and it has such cute stuff. So I'll take you. some weird parking lighting I found <laughs> but I got such a good coffee it's a decaf Americano with steamed milk something about even though it's like non-fat milk the steamed aspect the fact that it's hot makes it so much better tasting like it's almost like cream looks like I'm wearing a bib of sunlight <laughs> and I love the, the coffee shop in Nordstrom e-bar it's so good but I did not purchase much. I wasn't trying to purchase much. I was being a very good girl. And I just got a lipstick at MAC. I replaced my all-time favorite lipstick. The color is Angel. And it is the Frost lipstick. Very important. Because it's like sparkly kind of. But not in a bad way. In a really good way. Ugh, fresh tube of lipstick. It feels so good. It's like so smooth and nice. I just finished it. I'll show you in a second. I think I, I think it's the only lipstick I've ever finished in my entire life. Because <laughs> I usually have such a short attention span. But I did it. I always wondered, what's the bottom of a lipstick like? And I found it. And it's crumbly. That's the answer. But then at Typo, that really cool store I was trying to show you, I just got two pens. Because I'm an addict. And I love a really thin felt tip pen. So I got one in black and pink course and I thought those would be kind of fun to write with and to journal in the mornings especially but let me show you this lipstick so this is my old one as you can see it's like down to the nub and it started to crumble and I'm so proud of myself for making it that far through a lipstick but here's the new one just luscious and I swatched it and here's the swatch I don't know how I can tell in this lighting but it's almost iridescent it's just so pretty but then in the shadow you can see the color better thanks for shopping with me tgif so happy that it's friday um my friend and i decided to take a half day today and go to disneyland and like get a jump on the holiday crowds or the weekend crowds so i'm so excited about um, I got up at 6 a.m. I did my whole morning routine, got a few hours of work in, and then I took a nap. Oh, I feel like I, like, screwed up my makeup, but I don't even care. I'm just so happy I got a nap. And now I'm going to Disney, the happiest place on earth. So, mm, it's a wonderful Friday indeed. And I have these beautiful ears. You know, I love this brand, Imagine X, that makes like 3D printer ears. I wish you could see like the light filters through this like real stained glass. And as you can tell, it's magnetic. Isn't this so pretty? You got my Beauty and the Beast ears, my shirt. Also Beauty and the Beast, says tail as old as time. And then I broke down and bought this bag that <laughs> I was admiring that my friend Mary Kate owns, so now I also own it. Isn't this so pretty? I love these lounge fly backpacks. And it has these like gold details and it's just so pretty. So I have a whole like red and pink Beauty and the Beast outfit. <sighs> Very happy. Very happy to be going to Disney. So I will try to vlog a little bit there. I would love to shop a little bit there, but I might just only restock my coffee that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Um, but either way, I'm taking you again. Look at this hat. I 
wish I could make you wear this. <laughs> I can have phone cases now. I'm on like a Chip and Dale kick. Look how cute this is. That they're peeking over your phone all the time. I just don't really love the little cartoon. But that's really fun. And then this Dumbo phone case. It's so extra. It's like three times the size of a normal phone. Love it. Just obviously couldn't put it in your pocket. I love that like 50 of you guys sent this to me on Instagram. You guys know what I like. It's the most beautiful bag. I'm not getting it, but Lisa is. So it's gonna be in the, the Disney Girl Gang family. <laughs> Happy date night! Do you see the- oh, you're on us! Oh shoot! I thought you were showing the castle! Wait, oh you missed the castle! Gosh, we just pulled up to mini golf. Um, I guess I should show you. So, nothing says date night like a giant mini golf castle. What, what? This looks like an Excalibur kind of in Vegas. Yeah. I have a question for your constituents. <laughs> do I wear the Batman shirt too often? I feel like I'm always <laughs> seeing Batman in here. And I do wear this shirt a lot. Honey, it's such a cool shirt. It is cool. It's See, it has a little bat symbol. nothing to be ashamed of. I wash it. You, she washes it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go golf now. I'm going to beat him. I love you. I love you. Happy date night. I hope you still love me after the skunk scene you endure. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a phrase? The skunk scene? It's not a phrase, is it? <laughs> What happened? Oh no. <laughs> Where are you? Where is it? No. What do I do? Nate had to go give me a backup ball, but he still got me a pink one, so he did good. Thank Looks you. a little rough, huh? Thank you, honey. Thank you. How's your game going? How's your strategy? Um. We are, I'm now one stroke ahead of you, or beating you by one stroke, sorry. Congrats. <laughs> it's not going to last. No, no, I know. She was you're winning. You're up, but... you're up, okay. champ. So, you see this? this? is a tricky one. This is a very tricky one. Oh, oh, going in strong. Very well done. Oh, man. Nice Thanks. <laughs> Next stop, Jurassic Park. <laughs> I tried on the to. dismount. <laughs> Alright, I just showed him how it's done. I got a hole in one, so. 13, let's see if he can do it. Go, baby, go. You got this. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait, wait. Oh. Pretty good. You are on the green, my friend. Well, but you're in there. Join me. It's so warm and cozy in there. <laughs> Yay. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. It's actually getting to be late morning now because I did my casual miracle morning routine. I like to do it on the weekends too, but like a little later. 
then I showered and washed my hair. Sorry, I know some people like really hate to see other people touch their hair, but I'm, it's wet and I'm trying to get it to dry in a certain direction. Anyway, I showered and washed my hair and then this like cleaning frenzy came over me and I just started pulling things out of drawers and just scrubbing things and I just reorganized my entire bathroom. I'm still kind of in the process of it. So I suddenly realized I should show you what I'm doing, um, even though I kind of just finished. I'm still kind of organizing my morning and evening skincare that I keep in the medicine cabinet. But then I just sort of cleared off the countertops in here and like scrubbing everything down. I reorganized this, which is like basically kind of like a junk drawer catch-all drawer in the bathroom. And then I have face masks. And I started doing like my daily makeup in here for just kind of lighter southern summer makeup. So I have that makeup in here and I have my face cloths that I use hair tools, hair products, cleaning products, and lotions. And then I just kind of reorganized this a little bit with various washcloths and bath supplies. And this is another sort of catch-all bathroom type of drawer. And I got that a little bit better organized. So I don't know, I don't know what came over me. I'm still, still in the process of getting everything squared away in here, but I think it's going to be a Sunday cleaning day because the spirit has definitely moved me. And sometimes I just I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm making a little Sunday breakfast. I've got protein pancakes with banana slices. I've got some veggie sausage. Ooh, the oil really browned. Whoops. I'm gonna wash some fresh fruit. So breakfast is served. Ooh, it's steaming. Nate made some kind of eggs. <laughs> and we still have the veggie sausage and banana pancakes. And some raspberries. Yeah, don't, don't, don't show the eggs. Don't show the eggs. Nate <laughs> is in charge of the eggs. I screwed up. Alita would be happy to help with the eggs, wouldn't you? Oh, I didn't wait. <laughs> How are they? Good? Oh, that's delicious. Oh. He says it's delicious. All right, I'm still in the midst of my cleaning frenzy. <laughs> absolute frenzy but i wanted to stop and show you what i purchased over the weekend so i showed you a bunch of cute stuff i think when i was at the parks on friday at disney and here's what i finally decided to take for lolita i got this dog shirt isn't this the cutest dog shirt i absolutely love this this is so cute and they have the matching human one and i was uh, of course, really, really, really wanted to get that, but it was like $60 or something, and this itself was already that cheap. Oof. Yeah. But I just couldn't resist. Lolita needed an official Disney shirt, and they had a black one I would have loved to get for DC, but he hates wearing clothes and won't cooperate, whereas she, like, begs to wear clothes, so I just got this for her for now. It's so pretty. It has, like, the, um bubble letters on it. I can't wait to put that on her. And then for Nate, I got the beast hat. I texted him a picture of it and I was like, is there any way you'd wear this? Like, please, please, please look at the horns. I always try to get him to wear like Mickey ears to the park with me and he refuses. So I text, oh, and look at that. It's yellow and there's underneath. So I sent it to him and I thought he would just say like flat out, no, no way. And he wrote back maybe. And I took that as a yes. <laughs> And he said his main hesitation was that it's a flat bill. He likes curved bills. So I think I can like train the bill to curve. This is gonna be so cute on him. We'll have to get him to model this. And then for myself, I got my beloved French vanilla Mickey coffee that just makes every morning more special. It's a little curry pods. And I've already been digging into that this weekend. Oh, and I just made 10 cents, yay. Then I also went to Sephora and I had a hundred dollars of store credit because I cashed in my points. So they have a deal for some absurd amount of points, like 2,500 or something. I can't remember exactly. You can get yourself a hundred dollars of store credit. So that's what I did. Although, you know, it's not the best deal when you look at it that way, <laughs> but it allowed me to restock some things that are all time favorites. So you've probably heard of all these products from me before, but the dry bar, sparkling soda shine mist i really love this stuff it makes my hair so glossy and 
This has been my favorite nighttime serum or treatment for a long time. It's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And it's really um, an oil. It's a blend of essential oils. And it smells so soothing and spa-like. And it really seems to like restore my skin overnight. So I love that. And then I also got my beloved favorite lip balm of all time. If you placed bets at home, that you probably could have guessed I was going to get this. The um, Bite Agave Lip Balm. They lowered the price now, so it's easier to stock up once in a while. And I got these gummy vitamins, honestly, because I was, like, hungry when I was shopping. <laughs> and I thought, might as well have a snack that helps my skin. So I just had two of these gummies, and they're really good. And they're supposedly detoxifying for your skin. And then I used what points I had remaining. And I am so enamored with this adorable perfume sample. Let me show you. It is a little bear. Oh my gosh. I love the Moschino bear. I just, he's just delicious. He is so precious. And this is, I've never even smelled this perfume. I truly got it because I just saw the bear and I just had to have it. I think it was 250 points. So even once I use up the perfume, I'll just have this little sweet little bear bottle I could do whatever I want with. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. They had some really good things for points right now, actually. Um, but I was out of points, obviously. So I was happy that I got all this for free. And I got a little, little tiny bit of shopping done. And now I'm going to return to my Sunday cleaning frenzy. Lo, do you want your gift? You want your gift? Okay, here it is. A new Disney shirt. Oh my gosh. Yay. Yay. DC, your gift is that I am not going to make you wear a shirt. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good boy. You don't like clothing. But you do. You're so excited. Let's try it on. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. It already looks so good on you. <laughs> yes, my little angel. My little sea lion. She looks like a nun. You are, you're an angel. Okay, let's get the pot in. Let's get the pot in. I can't do this one handed, you have to help me though. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is her color. Oh my gosh, a little Disney fan. Come on, model it. Come on though. I know you look so cute in your Disney shirt. You do. You a true Disney fan? My little fan girl. You're my fan girl. Just like mommy. Oh, best purchase ever. Okay. You just ran on night and film it. Whoops. Well, see, we had a technical situation. But look at this hat on you. So yes, I love the horns actually. I did not expect that. I love it. But I don't love how the head is made. It's like, like trucker poofy. style, so it's like sits it's higher like tall than his big. actual head. He doesn't like that. I wish we could like take it in you like look a dress. so handsome though. But yeah, I agree. It's kind of weird how they made the hat. It's huge. I wonder if that's to support the horns or something. Maybe. Well, also, I mean, I guess some people wear it down like this or something. But I don't think so. Because I could literally, like without discomfort, wear it here. I mean, without discomfort, like there's so much extra room. <laughs> Maybe you should wear it that way. Oh, but, my handsome man, my beast. You're very sweet. I think it. I think it looks great. We need on to you. bend this bill a little more, but otherwise, yes, thank you. Should I just return it? I knew it was going to be a tough sell to get you to wear this hat. I don't know. I would wear it. You would wear it. Okay, you heard it here first. <laughs> so I'll wear it. Hi again. Greetings. Oh, my hair is air dried, so it's like summer hair, don't care. I'm waiting in the car and Nate just ran in to get something. He managed to like drag me out of my cleaning fury. <laughs> I got a lot done though. I like totally reorganized my whole bathroom and like the stuff in the living room my closet. I mean, not like hardcore, like I didn't, um, like 
put aside stuff to donate. I want to do that soon, but just like clean the whole house, like deep clean the kitchen. Weekends are usually when I get into my deeper cleaning because, well, you saw my weekday routine. It's kind of packed, but I need to do a Sunday routine for you guys soon so you guys can see the weekend goodness. But anyway, Nate like finally dragged me out of that whole reverie because it's now Sunday afternoon. It's like three, I think, um, or two. I can't check. Hold on. Let's find out. We need to know. Ooh, 340. That hurts. I was not expecting that. That's upsetting. Okay. That's a harsh reality. When you think... It's like, have you ever had a Sunday where you thought it was Saturday for a good chunk of the day and then you realize, no, it's actually Sunday. The weekend's like ending. So sad. Anyway, we are going to go to the coffee shop. We're out running errands right now. He just ran in somewhere. And then we're going to go work at Starbucks. Well, not work per se, because it is Sunday. He's going to do some creative writing. I'm going to plan out my week, get organized, work on my next guide, which is going to be launching very soon. I'm so excited. Um, and that kind of stuff. And then that way we'll feel very prepared tomorrow for the Monday workday. So yeah, a nice little coffee shop date with my boy. He's watching me vlog in the car right now. <laughs> All right, let's go get some coffee. Coffee sounds so good. It's now Monday night at 10.20 p.m. I'm sleepy, um, but I'm cuddled on the couch. I'm actually editing this very vlog. Uh, I have my binder here. Oops, no, these are my ice packs. I was icing my knees. I have bum knees, but um, I can kind of keep the pain under control if I do certain things like use these wonderful giant ice packs. I have my binder here and the doggies are around hanging out and I've got The Princess and the Frog on TV because it's currently available on Netflix. So it's really just like a chill night and I wanted to get this vlog edited so I could post it on Tuesday for you. And I can never end a vlog without a proper sign off to say you are all so fabulous and and I love you and thank you for hanging out with me. I feel like that was a pretty fun weekend. We did a little shopping. We did some mini golfing. We did some Disney. I did a lot of stuff around the house and it was productive. So I don't know, kind of just a typical weekend in my life. We've been having a really busy summer and it's about to get really busy again. So I was happy that I had like a little chunk of normal weekend stuff. And before like traveling and company and just everything, you know, you know how summer is, you're all in it too. So thank you for sharing this weekend with me and hanging out with me. And if you're new or if you haven't, please hit subscribe so you can join for more adventures. And I'll say hi in the comments and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.